welcome, welcome, welcome. This is Coach MJ, and we're going to talk for a minute about hackers. There's a lot of hacking going on again. A lot of people are getting a notification from their friends that they want to be their friend when they're already their friend. So this is what I'd like for you to do is I'd like for you to protect me because I've got you protected. And the best way for you to do that is to make sure that your friends list is set to only me can see my friends list. So if you go to your Facebook and you wanna go to your homepage, you wanna to go to where your toolbar is up here on the top. I've got home, I've got map marketplace, I've got groups and I've got events and hopefully your screen looks the same depending on where you are in the world that you live in. And then maybe your picture and your name and these little dots about menu and then your messenger chat, your notifications. This little carrot down here, that's where you want to go because that's gonna open up your account. And you wanna go down to settings and privacy. And before we go any further, make sure that you know your password. Do not do this if you don't know your password. If you don't know your password, then go and log out of Facebook. When you go to log back in, tell it that you forgot your password. They will email you. You go to your email and you can change your password and uh, get yourself back in there and write it down so you know what it is. And don't make it the same password that you have everything else that you do on the internet, okay? So you're gonna to go to setting and privacy and you're gonna click on this little arrow and it's gonna open up and you wanna to go to settings. And over here on the left, the security login. So here is your general settings. They're pretty general. Um, just your username. And if you have a bunch of numbers, you can change it to a name which makes it easier for people to find you if you haven't done that already. If you wanna change the email address you wanna have for your ad account, you can change it here. If you wanna change your email address for your primary contact, you can change it here. But again, just be careful because if you do these, you may have to log back in and you will get a notification from Facebook to confirm your email if you change that. Then down here, you want to go to privacy and you want to look at privacy shortcuts check a few important settings manage your profile go to your profile to change your profile info privacy look who can see your birthday relationships you can change that if you want to hide that because you don't want people to know what your birth dates are your birthday year because uh, they can try to steal your identity and you can learn more about privacy basics right here. But we're going to look at your activity. Who can see your future posts? I've got my account set to public because I'm an entrepreneur. I'm trying to get in front of as many people as I possibly can. So as I'm providing value and entertainment and quotes on my personal profile, everybody on Facebook can see it. You don't have to be my friend. So I've got that set to public. And then... If somebody tags me in a post that they are doing because they want me to know that they did that, I've got mindset to it will not post on my profile. I have to use the activity log, which means I go into the activity log and allow certain posts that I'm tagged in to show up on my profile or not show up. And I do this because I'm an entrepreneur I'm not really interested in promoting other people's products. So if somebody that sells something has tagged me in something, letting me know they've got a product that they want me to buy, I don't want it showing up on my personal profile. That junks up my profile. Limit the audience for posts who shared with friends of friends. I've got limited pa limit past posts. Limit the audience for posts I have shared with friends of friends or public. And I changed mine to limit my post, my past posts. If you choose to limit your past posts, 
posts on your timeline that you've shared with friends of friends and public posts will now be shared only with friends. Anyone tagged in those posts and their friends may also see these posts. If you want to change who can see a specific post, you can go to that post and choose a different audience. Learn about changing posts. So the choice is, you're about to limit all past posts on your timeline. The only way to undo this will be to change the audience of each post on your timeline. So I'm leaving that alone. I don't need to mess with that. And then who can see the people? <clears throat> pages and lists that I follow. <clears throat> Anybody can see the pages and the lists that I follow. Okay? It doesn't, I don't care about that. I mean, it's fine if you want to know who I follow. Now, who can send me a friend request? Everyone can send me a friend request. Who can see my friends list? <clears throat> this is key right here. You want to change who can see your friends list from public to only me. And only me doesn't mean only MJ. It means you, the owner of this Facebook profile. You do not want the world to see your friends list because what they'll do is they'll come to your profile, download your friends list, create a fake account, send a message out to all your friends asking to be your friend. Now, because yours might be set to public and I'm your friend, you're not protecting me and you're not protecting yourself. Mine is set to only I can see my friends. So I'm protecting you. So please give me grace and protect me and all your other friends as well by changing this to you are the only one that can see your friends list, please. And get your friends to do the same thing. Then you can look at who can look up using your email address provided. That's up to you, it depends. Do you want people to contact you via email? Who can look, look up using the phone number you provided? thing about it is, is my email and my phone number is hidden so people can't email me sporadically because I have it hidden. So, and then do you want the search engines outside of Facebook to link to your profile? Yes, because that means if somebody's looking for me on Google, I want them to find me on Facebook so that if they're interested in connecting with me, they can make that connection. So I hope this is helpful. Do you have any questions? Feel free to send me a private message, but drop a message down in the group. If you're a member of Focus on Facebook with Coach MJ, where this training will also be placed and have a very, very blessed day.